University of Latvia, family members, friends and associates of the Nebula Lecturer who have come from far and near to be part of this historic occasion. Distinguished academics here present, distinguished invited guests, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, you are most welcome to the combined seventh inaugural and second valedictory lecture of the Federal University of Latvia. Today's, today's lectures will be delivered by a man whom many have described as the father of the Federal University of Latvia, Professor Idris Onche Odumu Amali, the Ojoko of Idomana, and the outgoing Vice Chancellor of the Federal University of Latvia. Distinguished guests, this is a figure of both. We have Professor Mrs. Ibele Amani. Hey, Amani. <laughs> Dr. Edward Amani, Director of the State Institute of Agriculture. The Odokos Advisor, Advisor to the Court of National Council, to acknowledge your pleasures. Honorable Mubande. We have also the children of the Nebula Lecturer, Habiba N. Amani Gunu. Dr. Barita Mohamed Amal and Ibrahim Amali. Dr. Sajid Amali. Dr. Mrs. Kande Amali Sakyaro. We would like to recognize Professor Yakubu Ochifo, Executive Secretary of the of Vice Chancellors. We are going to start. The young lady is from Professor Chakri of the Inaugural Lecture Committee of the University. Professor Joseph Nodi for the welcome. Okay. Today is a special day. We are having inaugural and valedictory all put together. You may think that it's going to be a long day. Yes, the inaugural valedictory lecturer has spent a long, long time in the system. The university system and that's why today is a special day for him we are all going to listen carefully to him because he speaks to our very roots where we come from i am sure after this uh, these lectures we are going to have a think about going back to our villages and searching for the truth about the African. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy this lecture and go home with something traditional. Thank you very much. The Deputy Vice Chancellor, who is also our in our grand lecturer today, other principal officers of Federal University of Latvia, the former SSG of National States, another former SSG of National States, Haji Azena Pilot and Mr. Timothy Hanke. The Director of Special Duties Jam, the representing Jam Register here, my senior colleague, Professor Ochefu, that's the Secretary General of Computer Vice Chancellor, the Assistant. The General of uh, Immigration, Mr. Sonny Wadi. It is my great pleasure that I welcome you all to the seventh inaugural lecture of this university, titled Oral Poetry as Repository of Knowledge and Investigation of Idoma. 
alikuwa pia master poet this particular inaugural lecture is a special one because it is coming from an established and experienced scholar who is retiring and exiting the university system tomorrow after serving for over 40 years. I congratulate Professor Idris O. Amani, the Department of English and Literary Studies, and the Faculty of Arts for this historic event. This is the third time an inaugural lecture is being co chair in this university and the first to be co chaired by the Vice Chancellor of the University of Uruguay. This is part of our inaugural lecture policy. We are a professor appointed by another university and who is currently serving as tenor staff in the Federal University of Latvia may present this or our inaugural lecture in this university on the condition that the vice chancellor of the awarding university will officially agree to this agreement or arrangement and to be a co-chairman at the event. I thank the vice chancellor of the University of Mehubri for honoring us by sending a team to represent this university at this inaugural lecture. On behalf of the university management, I appreciate the university inaugural lecture committee, which are Professor Josephine Hode as chairperson, for the progress we are making in the inaugural lecture series in this university. The committee started with a workshop for professors and associate professors. We guided discussion around the starting inaugural lecture series and proposed acceptable guidelines regarding content, format, and protocol for inaugural lectures. This inaugural lecture of today is the seventh in the series, which is a glorious testimony of the individual and collective commitment of the chairman and all members of the committee. Inaugural lecture is one of the hallowed traditions of the academia. It is an occasion of significance in the career of academics because it provides them with an unprecedented opportunity to showcase their research, innovation, engagement, and teaching activities before members of the university community and the general public. The inaugural lecturer of today, Professor Idris Amari, is a successful academic who has mentored many distinguished professors in his field. Those he has mentored nationally and beyond in his area of specialty can attest to that. I would like to commend Professor Amani for this great contribution to knowledge. I thank Professor Amani's family for the support accorded him during his academic journey and the support given to him during the preparation for this inaugural lecture. I welcome you all and best with that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I was going to be just about for this wonderful second journey when my other colleagues have said, now we can let you go along. So three of us join me, including a royal personality, Mr. Wazir Abdu, the Zena Gumbun. So we arrived to my duty yesterday around 4 p.m. and the reception one was fantastic. We found Latvia City very appealing and the university very stimulating as an intellectual environment. We are indeed very happy to be here. We have recorded and committed everything and we are going to lay it to the Vice Chancellor to make him feel at home that he has been fully represented. Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir, we appreciate the hospitality of the University of Latvia, the people who hope the Royal Highness is from Latvia. We appreciate the beauty and the elegance of the city. And then the fact that the general, you know, environment atmosphere where I found ourselves here since our arrival yesterday. We will carry this memory as a long time and we will be with us for a long time. Thank you very much. The community invited this gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. This is the citation of Professor Idris Oko Amali, the inaugural lecturer of today. Born on 6th June 1953, 
at Fuku Otto Grove Federal State, Nigeria. Professor Idris Otobu Onche Amali attended St. Andrews Methodist School of Jehovah, Benway State between 1960 to 1964, Methodist School, Upu Isho Otobu, Benway State, between January to December 1966, before proceeding to the W.M. Bristol Secondary School, Boko, Benway State, between January 1968 to December 1969. Amadou finished his secondary education at Wesley High School of Jukobe State in 1972 before proceeding to the University of Ibadan, Jos Campus, Jos Plateau State, between 1975 to 1979 for his prelim. He later obtained a BA Horns in Theatre Arts and Drama with second class honor, upper division, in 1979 from the University of Jos. He later enrolled for his master's at the same university in 1982 and obtained SEI in 1984. Professor Abani obtained a PhD in English, specializing in oral literature in 1994 from the same University of Jones. Abani began his career as a university academic in September 1980, when he gained employment as a graduate assistant at the University of Maiduguri. He rose through the rank to become a professor in the year 2000. From 26th of October 2007 and 2017, and a fellow of the Institute of Planning in Nigeria since 2001, Professor Amani is an accomplished fa family man who is happily married to Professor Mrs. Halima Amani. And the marriage is blessed with six children. And the children are Mrs. Habiba M. Goni, who holds the PA Hall's Mass Communication, Dr. Barrister Mohamed Amali, who holds an LLB and an LLM, Dr. Abnaya Amali, who is a medical doctor, MPBS, Ibrahim Amali, BA Hall's and LA Creative Art, and Dr. Sadiq Amali, BSc, MSc, PhD Sociology, and then Dr. Mrs. Kande Amali Sifiano, who is equally a medical doctor. My Vice Chancellor, sir, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you today a man that is qualified to be called a living academic ancestor and a guru of oral education, <laughs> Professor E. Christopher Anshe Abali, for his inaugural lecture, titled Oral Poetry as Repository of Knowledge and Investigation of Indoma Alipiafa Masquerade Poetry. Thank you, sir. In Tupos, we say, A lawyer, he be careful, a full guard, and a little It is when the horse war was made, he bought horses to fight the war. When the war was made, the horses, all their legs were broken. Let us hope that the horse that I rode from the Tupu to this place to fight this war, we will stand rigorous of the war. Thank you very much. <laughs> Having said so, I'd like to recognize the Vice Chancellor, the visiting Vice Chancellors, represented here by my younger brother, Professor Nidiga Abu, who is also a Deputy Vice Chancellor of Sister University, which is the open. Then they gave to our said they should give to energy. Energy say which is the east. Energy say they should give to the south. The south say give it to the earth. That the earth is the Pusini. This invocation takes place to clear the path for the master. Once this invocation has taken place, the master now goes to call his ancestors. First, by this, there are various versions of it. I want to tell you, I have up to 15 different chances that I recorded in Malaga at various locations. I've just lived with this over 30 years ago. It has a chocolate bar, so it's a little bit of a chocolate bar. 
from the chapter apart, we go to what he said, the chapter apart is the owner of the world. For the chapter apart, creating this man, the vice president. On the other belief, we are the creator of human beings. The next person that is Akute, Akute, he said Akute, the father. If your children have a baby children, Akute that live in the father. While they are cutting down the tree, the lizard takes the tree for planting to show you the bravery of the man. Next is Ohewa, from Ohewa Uchumoku. Uchumoku Alama, only the father will go there. He showed up at Lama, the child who cried for his father and rested his hands on the auntie, was delivered. Then Ogabo, Ogabo, there are two, Ogabo do, we have it. Then Ogwebu, Adoko, now coming to a realistic situation, Ogu begot Oko, Oko begot Ogadi, and Ona, he is the branch of Oko. Then, or that he be God, I am a young virgin. Okataka, after Okataka, he be God, I am a young virgin. Incidentally, this is an uncle to a God called Sumi. But nature has not given them to you. They are not as explosive as in the chair and uh, the children of the uh, he will tell you what is beauty. That's the aspect of human life. So by the time I come out with my result, I'm going to question this Nigeria, and we should use it as a second to use it as a basis and to be a in this nation. They are the praising women. All the beautiful parts of women, I don't know how they have the eyes to go and see people from the public there. The public there, they see special beauty. That means they say that if a woman does not present the dress, at least the public has to be there. And then the skin of the woman should be smooth, smooth as the gliding stone, and with calibrated them. Please turn around. Yes, okay, come. come.
So this is the part I'm computing. So under the direct, we start with the computer, which which everything of which we say that it is important. And I've called here to survive this. Let me read the last two lines. Which is that which is that the federal government have made so many representations here for the federal government. And I said that uh, seeing the nation, seeing the action of an inaction of the government, which puts the union to the wall, I employ the government to pipe down and allow common sense to prevail and pay the university staff their eight months salaries using the doctrine of the state. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you. 
that the third special obligation of the university and the inauguration of the new duty vice chancellor tomorrow, tomorrow 10 a.m. in this uh, hall. Staff, members of the congregation are advised to come with their identification cards. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, on this note, I think we've come to the end of uh, the summons that I've run and second part of the field lecture of the university. May I request that we rise for the full Afia and national anthem of our closing for this event. Thanks, full Afia. Thank you.
who is uh, the senior brother of Professor Idris Ahmad, that is Professor Shamsuddin Ahmad, uh, the former <laughs> vice chancellor of Nasrallah State University. The former Professor uh, Shamsuddin Ahmad actually appointed me as the deputy vice chancellor administration in Nasrallah State University. And before then, that position was vacant for almost five months. I was uh, doing my sabbatical then in Amad Bello University area when the position became vacant. He refused to appoint anybody. Even when Pedro was mounting on him, he said he has his own candidates and he's going to do that at the appropriate time. When I returned, not more than one week, he called me to his office to tell me that the position had been vacant for five months. He refused to appoint anybody because I was his own interest for that position. And uh, that is what he did. A week after, he called for special senates, and I was finally appointed the deputy vice of the administration of National State University Cape. Then, that particular act opened a lot of opportunity for me. And that's the reason why I say I can't forget about this family. Because when I served him for one year, one month, uh, three new federal universities were established by President Kulo Jonathan. And Jonathan gave condition that they should appoint either former vice chancellors or deputy vice chancellors for these three new universities. At the end, they sent you for deputy vice chancellor. So by then, I was deputy vice chancellor. And I was lucky among the deputy vice chancellor that we are considered to be the former vice chancellor of the three new universities. So I was uh, posted to federal investigation. So you can see uh, that trend or uh, favor. So when I came to Federal University of uh, Latvia and uh, I became the Vice Chancellor and I met Professor Idris Amani at DVC. So, which means the family relations should continue. And when he finished the first time, I felt there's no need changing him because I enjoy working with him and Specifically for the sake of even his senior brother. Whatever he has done, even if I didn't like it, I have to still maintain it. So that was exactly what I did. But I gave a narration of what even gave me confidence in continuity. When I came on board, his advice here and there. One of the advice advice is that BC shine your eyes. And what that one means is you should look around for those you can trust. But this is a necessary condition. But to me, I say I believe in sufficient condition. And my sufficient condition is that I should shine my heart. Because if you shine your heart, what you mean is that you trust God. And it is God that will choose those people that you can trust for you. So what you mean is that God is sufficient for you. And exactly that's what I did. And God chose Professor it is Amani for me, a person I can trust. So that was the reason why I continue with him as uh, the DVC general, again, as we call him. The same principle I applied recently when we appointed three deputy vice chancellors in this university. The same shining of hearts brought three deputy vice chancellors for us in this university. And nobody can say anything against it. Why? Because these are choice from God. So I want to thank every one of us that Professor Idris Armani has contributed a lot 
to favor investors of Latvia. All of us enjoy working with you. All the principal officers are looking at the faculty level, at the departmental level, I didn't get any complaint against him. So it shows that he has been relating with all of us cordially and uh, he has mentored a lot of even renowned professors that other students can be learning from. So I want to thank Professor Idris Amani for the contribution to Federal University of Latvia and to thank all of us for celebrating today. Thank you very much. I call on a few persons from on the high table to make the answer for two minutes each. But before then, I would like to invite to the high table. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, my brother is my chancellor. Brian Nazi is up here. And uh, other principal officers of Federal University of Latvia. My mother, my Father, my traditional ruler, chief of truth, book, or let me correct that pronunciation so that you can see it properly now. Okay. It is Ocho to go or to go. to go or to go. Yeah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, all protocols observed. I just have one very short thing to say. I would like to say first that it's my pleasure to have been at this lecture. For just one singular reason, Professor Amadi knows me from when I was a doctor. So, if anybody wants to hear a story about me, about my life, he's actually the right person to go to. And I wasn't going to miss his inaugural lecture for anything. And I am happy to say that uh, the lecture was really, really eye opening. Is even account of himself. Yes, that was by all standards a first class professor and lecture. I just want to wish him well. I remain your small brother. Even though I'm bigger than you in size now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Brothers and sisters, good evening. I am not going to be tired of saying something anytime I have an opportunity to talk about Professor Idris Amadi. I'm one of his mentees. Sometimes, many years ago, I left my hometown, a hometown of Nasrawa, in search of a higher degree. I landed in Meijuguri without knowing anybody. I walked into the Department of English and there the HOD was there. I walked in and spoke meekly, he said, yes, what can I do for you? I said, I'm here to apply for a PhD in English. He said, wow, we've just started the department and we're looking for students. He didn't even ask me anything further. He just beckoned to somebody from the outside, from the outer office. Please go and get this lady a form. Thereafter, I asked him, where are you from? I said, from Nasra. He said, oh, that's close to Bailey. I don't want to call the name, but I'm sure he knows who. Uh, the president knows who I'm speaking about. That began my journey into the familiar, then unfamiliar area of oral literature. Professor Amali introduced me to the area of oral My classmates is sitting, the person that represented the vice chancellor of the University of Medjugorje, I'm talking about Dr. Othman. We started the PhD together with Professor Razina Muhammad and the Indian lady, if I recall, Usa. Honestly, his home became my home. He opened his doors, opened, gave me all the necessary 
support to be where I am. So when they call me Dr. Zainab, what comes to mind is Professor Amali and family. Yeah. I, I'm so used to the family that there, is ne there can't be any program that I will not be there. Because uh, uh, Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir, I've always looked for opportunity to reiterate my respect and commendation for what you have been doing right from the time we knew you in the National State University, KFI, and your debut here in the Federal University, Lafia. I think uh, we have gossiped you a couple of times with my late uh, boss, uh, the former governor of Nasara State, Alaji Alu Abedoma, may God rest his soul. We have always commended you in whispers and in loud voices, and I've always been uh, following uh, after your achievements, and I want to commend you. I get very excited any moment I see you, I want to praise you and ask you to continue. Uh, to our celebrants, Professor Amali, uh, I wouldn't want to say much because much has been said, but I want to summarize him as a learned uh, scholar, the one that those of us who are ordinary never fear to encounter. I think that's the hallmark of a great scholar. He is also community spirited. He is our neighbor out there at the project quarters and we know how much we have gained from being there, from his uh, pieces of art. Thank you very much. Let me invite Professor Odin. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. a chief transit holder. He is a chief at home. He's a Nojoko. I noticed that you people didn't stress that enough. So I want to stress it to you that as popular as he is here, he's also very popular, very active in uh, all kinds of things in the village. Because of the depth of you, you have to follow him to that depth. Sometimes we are in the house. And if Professor Mali writes a poem, you must read it, whether you are studying medicine or not. You must criticize it, whether you don't know what you are talking about or not. So you, you work with him, he keeps you awake and he is awake. And almost as long as he is, you are. Sometimes I went to his class because he is very dramatic. There is so much drama in him. I was wondering whether he was going to talk about the drama or he was going to talk about the origin. But he didn't do the drama, but he's more of a dramatist. He's a man of many parts. 